All right, so good day, students. Welcome to our class for today. So in this class, we will be talking about internet features. All right, we will focus on defining what internet is, as well as looking at the uses of internet, at the features of internet, and lastly, we will look at the advantages as well as the in, uh, the the disadvantages of internet. All right, everything that is very good definitely also has its own bad side. Now, let's start off by first defining what internet is. So firstly, I want you to understand that there's quite a lot of definition of what internet is all about out there. And the secret is just of you understanding exactly how it is made up, right? And what are the most important terms used in it when you are defining it. All right, so the definition that we have here says that the internet is a network or is a worldwide network. So this is a key term here. So it's a worldwide network of computer networks that connects university, government, commercials, and other computers in over 150 countries. So we are looking at the whole entire world that uses internet. So in other words, you can say that the internet is mainly a global wide area network that connects computer systems across the world. So it includes high bandwidth data lines that comprise the internet backbone, so these lines are connected to the major internet hubs that distribute data to other locations such as the web servers and the ISPs. So when we talk about the ISPs, we are referring to the internet service providers like MTC is an internet service provider, telecom is an internet service provider, and many others. Okay? Now let's look at the users or you using the internet what is the internet mostly used for number one you can use the internet to send electronic emails this is like you sending emails and this is actually one of the most common method of sending and receiving messages online everybody uses an email you and i both have emails all right Back then, when we didn't have internet or when people were not that really educated on internet, um, you will want to communicate with somebody, let's say, for instance, from South Africa. The first thing that you possibly do is write a letter and then you send it via NumPost. But today, it's just a matter of you sitting on your computer, connect your computer to the internet, you type the letter and then you send it via email. All right, and one of the uses is we use it for to chat with colleagues around the world. All right, so we have so many platforms, all right, social media platforms that allow people to share comments, photos, videos, and to communicate with anybody all over the world. All right, and you know that the, the most important platforms that we are talking about here. We are looking at WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and many other. And the most important uses is we use internet to obtain information on a wide variety of subjects. For me, I think this is the most and most important uses of internet. All right. So you can obtain information, anything that you want to know in this whole entire world. It's just a matter of you going to the internet and you search about it on Google, you will get your answer. Whatever you do not know, try searching it on Google, you always have an answer to it. All right. You want to research on certain subject matters, you can always get the information from the internet. All right. So that's why back then you you actually realized that um, many students mostly used the library. Um, or let me rather put it this way. The number of students that used the libraries back then was very high compared to now. Right. Because back then, people obviously need books. They want to read. They want to obtain information from these books. They don't have any devices to 
uh, perhaps obtain information so the only option out is to 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 go to the library and read different books and so on but today you find those books on the internet it's just a matter of you using your mobile device search for whatever information you want and you can have it in a blink of an eye and another use is um is buy and sell online everybody buys and they also sell online so this is called e-commerce the buying and selling online is called e-commerce okay so you want to buy something it's just a matter of you going uh, uh it's just a matter of you going to the internet and search whatever you want to buy and you can buy it all right you want to sell something it's just a matter of you posting the item that you want to sell on one of the platforms that allows you to sell and you can sell it all right the other one is work you are able to work from home with internet access you are able to 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 to, to get information or get access to information at your workplace just in a blink of eye if you have internet and lastly the one that you all like is entertainment you get entertainment on the internet nowadays people don't even watch dstv anymore and i'm one of those people i don't have dstv because i got netflix it's just a matter of me getting to the internet and watch whatever movie i want at any time all right okay so those are the uses of the internet or using the internet okay so we move to the internet features all right so what are the internet features how will you identify or how will you explain the internet features okay we have so many features of the internet however i'm going to focus only on the main feature on the main three features of the internet okay well one thing that you need to know is that the internet is one of the most powerful communication tools because it empowers its users with a lot of data tools and the information to accomplish many different tasks okay so the most important features that i will look at we have a lot tons of features i'll look at accessibility so the an internet is a global service and and it's a set and it's accessible to all meaning that anybody can make use of the internet Today, people located in remote part of an island or interior of Africa can also use internet. All right, so the only thing that you need, you need your mobile device or you need your laptop and your laptop needs to be connected to an internet. Obviously, the internet will be provided by the ISP who is the internet, uh, internet service provider. Okay. All right, so we also have uh, easy to use. Uh, what we mean here is that the software, which is used to access the internet, the web browsers, I believe you all know what the web browser is. Web browsers, we are talking about Chrome, like Google Chrome, Firefox, and many others. All right, I'll repeat again. The software, which is used to access the internet, which is the web browser, is designed very simple. Therefore, it can be easily learned and used. It's easy to develop. In other words, it's very much easier for you to use the internet, okay? For as much as you need your device, um, your phone, or probably your laptop, you will need a web browser. So the web browser will help you to make use of the internet, all right? For instance, you go on Google, you type in whatever you want to type, you can go on YouTube, you can go on WhatsApp, you can go on Instagram, you can go on all that just using the web browser. Okay, and it's very easy to, to, to use. I mean, it's just straight to the point, by the way. And then we have low cost. The development and maintenance cost of the internet services are very low. 
Okay, so those are just some of the internet features. The internet features are more related to the advantages of internet, of the internet. So the advantages that we have here, number one is the source of information. Obviously, we get information from the internet anytime we want. You know, it all depends on you, uh, what type of information you want and so on. It's a source of inter entertainment. Nowadays, you're going to, uh, uh, or nowadays people that live alone, I mean, they no longer get bored because, if, I mean, if they have their devices, it's just a matter of them going to the internet and try to source out whatever entertainment that they want and so on. Back then, oof. Yeah, it was something else. But of course, I think that can also lead to depression, I believe. You think that internet might be the source of entertainment and you might not people you might not need people, which I think it's not that really conducive 100%. Okay, keep informed meaning that you are updated whatever news that you perhaps want to know about what's happening around all over the world. It's just a matter of you getting to the internet and you have all the information about the news. Online shopping that we have spoken about it, about it, the buying and selling, of course, which is e-commerce. Nowadays, people do business online, and that's the direction that we are all going now. During COVID-19, people have made quite a lot of monies, like millions of dollars, just online. Okay? And then the disadvantages that we have, number one, it's a waste of time. Of course, if your main focus is not that, you know, 100% or not goal-oriented, uh, you're just 24-7 on the internet and nothing is useful is coming out of, you know, of there. Definitely that would be a waste of time. Uh, not safe for places for children. And of course, uh, it's no longer safe. Uh, children nowadays, I mean, they are all, um, they know a lot about the internet. More, more than certain parents, I believe. You know, you'll find a five-year-old child that knows how to go on YouTube and search for a, a certain cartoon. Now, imagine while they are setting and they see something that they're not supposed to watch. I think that's not really 100% safe for children. Number three, privacy exposure. And uh, the internet is one of the most uh, uh, platform that is used to expose a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, this you have seen it, it can expose people, it can expose your own personal uh, private information and so on. So it's not that really safe 100%. And in terms of security wise, it's not secure as well 100%. Money frauds, uh, I mean, of course, people get, um, you know, I mean, come on, sometimes we buy goods online and we do not even know where our data or information goes. And and, and somebody can just probably even, uh, you know, get money from your card without even you noticing and so on. And by the way, there's always fraud happening on the Internet every single day of our lives. As much as the Internet is 100 uh, percent a very good platform for communication and so on. It's also hundred uh, percent one of the uh, uh, the bad platform to be on at every single time and so on. So that's the lesson for today. So we mainly just focused on those uh, on on defining internet, the users, the internet features, advantages, and the disadvantages. So please make sure that you take the quiz below. And as well as just make sure that you complete the register. So having said that, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in our next lesson and goodbye.